Alphabet Knowledge and Phonemic Awareness Lesson Plan. Conocimiento del alfabeto y conocimiento fonológico plan de estudio. Hi, my name is Christine Neff and I'm a preschool teacher at Hoover. Hola, mi nombre es Belkis Díaz y soy el enlace comunitario entre las familias hispanas y el distrito escolar. Conmigo se encuentra la maestra del preescolar en Hoover, Christine Neff. Introduction. The focus of this lesson is to talk about the alphabet and the sounds that letters make. There are only 26 letters in the English language. When your child leaves preschool, they will only be expected to know the letters in their name. For example, Teresa would need to be able to name the letters T-E-R-E-S-A in her name in English. Introducción. El enfoque de este plan es aprender sobre el alfabeto y los sonidos que hacen las letras. Solo hay 26 letras en el idioma inglés. Cuando su hijo termine el preescolar, solo deberán conocer las letras en su nombre. Por ejemplo, Teresa tendría que ser capaz de nombrar las letras T, E, R, E, S, A en su nombre en inglés. Phonemic sounds. Each letter also has a phonemic sound or sounds that it makes when you read. The Cedar Rapids Community School District uses the Jolly Phonics program in elementary school. This program teaches children the sounds letters make by associating them with an action. This program does not teach the sound in alphabetical order, but in the order of the most common, commonly used. The focus of learning these letters and sounds in preschool is mostly for exposure, so they learn them faster and more easily in kindergarten when they teach the entire curriculum at the beginning of the school year. Sonido fonético. Cada letra también tiene un sonido fonético o sonido que hace al hacer leída. El distrito escolar de Cedar Rapids utiliza el programa Jolly Phonics en las escuelas primarias. Este es un programa que enseña a los niños los sonidos de las letras asociándolos con una acción. Este programa no enseña los sonidos en orden alfabético, pero sí en el orden comúnmente más utilizado. El enfoque de aprendizaje de estas letras y sonidos en el preescolar es la exposición. Así aprenderán más rápido y más fácil en el kinder, donde se les enseñará el currículo completo al comienzo del año escolar. What your child will learn in preschool at Hoover. In preschool at Hoover, your child will learn two letters and sounds a week starting in January after winter break. On the back side of the weekly newsletter, there will be letters and sounds that the class is learning that week. Other schools work on this skill, but may use different resources and share the information with you in different ways. ¿Qué aprenderán en el preescolar? En el preescolar, su niño aprenderá dos letras y sonidos cada semana, empezando en enero después de las vacaciones de invierno. En la parte posterior del boletín semanal estarán las letras y los sonidos que la clase estará aprendiendo esa semana. Letters and letter sounds. Letras, los sonidos de las letras. 26 letters in English. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. El abecedario en español.
A, B, C, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, L, M, N, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, W, X, Y, Z. Lesson, letter sounds. Sonidos de las letras. This is the letter S. It makes the S sound in English. S is for snake, sun, sock. Esta es la letra S. Esta es el sonido S en inglés. S es para snake, sun, sock. This is the letter A. It makes the A sound in English. A is for ant, apple, alligator. This is the letter T. It makes the T sound. T is for tennis, two, toes. C is for car. It makes a K sound. And C is for car, clap, come. This is the letter K. It makes a K sound in English. K is for key, kite, kangaroo. This is an I. It makes a I sound. I is for igloo, ink, imagine. This is a P. It makes a P sound. P is for pan, pencil, put. This is an N. It makes a N sound. N is for noise, nine, nail. This is an E. It makes a E sound. E is for egg, elephant, empty. This is an H. It makes a H sound. H is for ham, help, horse. This is an R. R is for raisin, rat, roller. It makes a er sound. This is an M. It makes a M sound. M is for meal, mouse, music. This is a D. It makes a D sound. D is for drum, dog, door. This is a G. It makes a G sound. G is for gurgle, green, go. This is an O. It makes an ah sound. O is for on, off, octopus. This is a Q. It makes a qu sound. Q is for quilt, quarter, quiet. This is a U. It makes a uh sound. U is for umbrella, up, under. This is L. It makes a L sound. L is for lollipop, lick, large. This is an F. It makes a F sound. F is for fish, fun, four. This is a B. It makes a B sound. It is for baseball, bat, blue, and ball. This is a J sound. It makes a J. J is for jello, jiggle, jump. This is a Z. Z makes a Z sound. Z is for zebra, zero, zipper. This is a W. It makes a W sound. It is for wind, wing, wand. This is a V. It makes a V sound. V is for van, voice, violet. 
This is an X. It makes a X sound. X is for X-ray, fox, fox, six. This is a Y. It makes a Y sound. Y is for yellow, yolk, and yarn. Letter C and letter K. La letra C y la letra K. Both C and K make the same sounds in English for the most of the time. Casi siempre la letra C y K producen el mismo sonido en inglés. Of course, there are exceptions, such as C making the sound of an S in cereal, but your child won't learn those exceptions in preschool. Por supuesto, hay excepciones, como la C haciendo el sonido que produce la letra S en la palabra cereal. Pero tu niño no aprenderá estas excepciones en el preescolar. The hard C sound, cat and cup, make a k sound. The soft C sound, s, says circle or center, s. Vowels, a, e, i, o, U and sometimes Y. Las vocales A, E, I, O, U y a veces Y. Vowels A, E, I, O, U and sometimes Y. In English, each vowel can make at least two different sounds. En inglés, cada vocal puede hacer dos sonidos diferentes. These are usually called long and short vowel sounds. Estos sonidos vocales son usualmente llamados sonido largo y sonido corto. The long vowel sounds will say the letter name, such as... Los sonidos largos de las vocales dirán el nombre de la letra como... A. Made. The short vowel sounds will make a different sound, such as... Los sonidos cortos de las vocales hacen un sonido diferente, como a, set. We teach the short vowel sound first. Primero, nosotros enseñamos los sonidos cortos de las vocales. Your child will learn the sound that a makes later in the school year and in kindergarten. Tu hijo aprenderá el otro sonido El sonido largo que la letra A hace en el kinder. Short vowel sounds. Los sonidos cortos de las vocales A, E, I. Apple starts with the A sound. You will hear the vowel sound in the middle of the words most of the time, such as plant. Egg starts with the E sound. You will hear the vowel sounds in the middle of the word most of the time, such as pet. Igloo starts with a I sound. You will hear the vowel sound in the middle of the word most of the time, such as hill. Octopus starts with a A ah sound. You will hear the vowel in the middle of the word most of the time, such as fox. Umbrella starts with a A uh sound. You will hear the vowel in the middle of the word most of the time, such as cut. Short vowel sounds. Sonidos cortos de, la vo de las vocales. A, E, I, O, U. A, A. Cat, sat, mat. E, E. Set, net, red. I, I, pig, six, fin. O, A, dog, hot, long. U, A, mug, put, fun. Sometimes Y can be a vowel. A veces la letra 
Y puede ser una vocal. It can make a long I sound, such as sky, fly, cry. Or it can make a long E sound, such as baby, happy, candy. Long vowel sounds. Sonidos largos de las vocales. A, E, I, O, U. A. This is the long vowel sound that A makes. A. A. Acorn. Apron. You will see combinations such as A, I, A, Y, and A, E in words that make the A sound. A. Apron. Acorn. A, I. Ale. Male. A, Y. Day. Say. And A and E. Snake. Cake. Long vowel sounds. Sonidos largos de las vocales. A, E, I, O, U. E. This is the long vowel sound that E makes. E. E, ear, eagle. You'll see combinations such as E, 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 A, E, Y, in words that make the E sound. E, E, three, sheep. E, A, meat. Leaf. E Y. Key. Honey. Long vowel sounds. Sonido largo de las vocales. A E I O U. I. This is the long vowel sound that I makes. I. Idea. Iris. Island. Mile. This letter combination is often at the end of words or in the middle, but never at the beginning. O and O makes the U sound. Cook, book, hook. Coo, moon, tooth. These two letters together make different sounds. The only way to figure out which sound it makes is to try them both and see which one sound is right in the word. The letter X is usually found at the end of words. It makes a X sound in a, as in fox. Fox, six. Sometimes in English, letters will make different sounds when they're together. We are going to learn a few of them now. C-H. Choo choo, church, chair. S H, sh, shout, shoe, share. T H, them, this, feather. Or T H, thumb, thunder, moth. These two letters can make slightly different sounds and words. The only difference is how far your tongue sticks out between your teeth. Here are some different ones. Q U Qu Quack Quarter Queen O U Ow Ouch Out and Clout O I Oi Oil Oink Coin O U U U Unicorn Cube E R Er, mixer, teacher, herd. A-R, R, bark, star, cart. A-W, ah, awesome, awful, pa. Conclusion. In, conclu in conclusion, what we went through was a brief introduction of the entire Jolly Phonics program. In preschool, we might not get through the whole curriculum, but your child will get the entire program in kindergarten. 
Remember, the only thing your child is expected to know when they leave preschool is the letters in their name and a few sounds and letters that, make, that you make when you read. But most preschoolers will leave knowing more. A fun way to practice this skill is to take the papers we send home and tape them in various places around your home. For example, place, place one paper on the mirror in the bathroom and ask your child to name the letters and say the sounds they make while doing the motions every time they go into the bathroom. We hope you have fun practicing this language skill. Conclusión. En conclusión, lo que expusimos fue una breve introducción del programa Jolly Phonics. En preescolar, a lo mejor nosotros no enseñamos todo el currículo, pero su hijo o hija recibirá todo el programa en el kinder. Recuerda, lo único que se espera que su hijo o hija sepa cuando salga del preescolar son las letras en su nombre y algunos sonidos que hacen las letras. Pero la mayoría de los niños preescolares saldrán sabiendo más. Una forma divertida de practicar esta habilidad es tomar los papeles que enviamos a la casa y pegarlos en varios lugares alrededor de su casa. Por ejemplo, Pegue un papel sobre el espejo en el baño y pídale a su niño o niña que nombre las letras y diga los sonidos que hacen al mismo tiempo hacer los movimientos cada vez que entren al cuarto del baño. Esperemos que te diviertas practicando esta habilidad del idioma. <música>